Hi everybody, it's Jesus from Polyflow with a walkthrough showing you how to translate your web website into multiple languages using Polyflow. Let's do it. The very first step is to create your account. In this case, I already have an account, so I just need to log in to my account. So let's do it. And once here, you will see something like this. Let's restart the welcome onboarding. So you will see this uh, onboarding process. And it's very important to install the Google Chrome extension because that Google Chrome extension will allow Polyflow to synchronize all your pages, CMS content, uh, attributes, images, and all you may have in your Webflow project. So this is the very first step. As you can see here, I already have the Polyflow extension. And then we can start uh, opening Webflow and synchronizing the project. Okay, so let's add our first project to Polyflow. You just need to click here to go to Webflow, but in this case, I already have my Webflow account and my project open here. And if you already have the Google Chrome extension, you will see in the sidebar the Polyflow icon. So the next step is to sync the project. And it will take a few minutes because we are um, synchronizing all your pages, CMS content, images, attributes, and everything you may have in your Webflow project. As you can see, everything is done. So let's start adding translation to our project. OK, so as you can see here, I have all my static pages. I have a few collections because I'm on the free plan right now. So once you upgrade uh, to the CMS plan, you will see all your collections, but I have a few collections here and I have my symbols. Okay, so let's start adding um, a translation for the homepage. So we just need to take a look into the homepage and select the layout that we want to translate. In this case, we can use a different layout for different home pages. So we could have a layout for the Chinese option and another different layout for the French option. In this case, I'm going to take the same, but just keep in mind that you can change and play with the layout. Uh, let's add a Spanish alternative for my website and let's create the alternative. Okay, so let's start adding translation for our homepage. You will see here alternative settings. You can customize your URL. You can start adding SEO title and description, but the important thing here is to add content to your page. So we offer currently the possibility to add a manual translation, but very soon, I think in a few weeks, we will launch automatic translation too. So you will be able to decide between automatic translation or manual translation. Okay, so I already have my content here, but this is something really cool. You can translate your images. So you can have uh, your image, your original image in English, and you can have a different one for the Spanish version. So I have here uh, a contrast of different images so you can see the example. Okay, so let's see how it works for the CMS. The CMS will be almost the same. You just need to manage your collection and once here you can start adding translation for those pages. You can add your slug, SEO title, SEO description, and then the content. What about the symbols? So the first thing that you will see here in your tab is pages, CMS, and after that you will see symbol. So in this case we can translate, we will translate this navbar for the the Spanish version, and we can start adding translation for every single component that we already have on that nav bar, uh, but even images. So you can change your icon, you can change your images, you can change your text, and you can translate everything. Okay, so after we translate everything and we already have everything translated into different languages and everything is going perfect, what happens? So we just need to publish, and first we will see a preview to see that everything is going well, to see that everything is okay. So let's... Uh, See a preview, this will take uh, a few seconds. And once we confirm that everything is okay, we can publish in our own domain. Okay, so we have here our preview. We just need to click here and see that everything is okay. So I have my Webflow site in the English version. I have here a few images and let's change it for the Spanish version. So if we click here, we'll see that we have changed and even we change the image. This is of course an example, but you can see that you can change text, images, and almost everything inside your Webflow project. And that's it. This is how Polyflow works. As you can see, you can start adding multiple languages to your Webflow project in a few minutes. And if you have any other question or if you need help, please let us know. We are here waiting for you and willing to help. So see you soon.